I'm currently between jobs. I worked as a contract accountant between the months of August and September. I really enjoyed my time with that employer, so waiting until they had a vacancy and recently applied, I should find out about the result in the next week or two. So for the meantime, I'm unemployed. I'm sure anyone that has gone without work for a short period of time would know that your sleeping pattern can go a bit out of whack because you really don't have any timed obligations. So in the meanwhile, I spend my time goofing around on my PlayStation playing online games. I live in Australia, but I've been gaming with the same group of Americans for over the past 10 years. Due to the time difference, I find they usually log on between midnight and midday my time. As a result, I find it easier just to wake up in the afternoon and play on their schedule until I find out the result of my job application. Because I play at night, I use headphones. My girlfriend doesn't really appreciate loud Battlefield 1 sounds in the earlier hours of the morning. At the same time though, if she wakes up to use the bathroom and I catch her in the corner of my eye, it can give me quite the fright. So I tend to leave one of my headphones over one ear and have the other one behind my left ear. I figure if I can hear the bed springs, I can expect her to move around and I won't jump so easily. I currently live in a block of units, four apartments across and three apartments high. Usually I hate living in apartments because we live across the street from the beach, so it was no brainer at such a low cost. I don't know any of my neighbors except the lady that lives above me. I hate her in the same fashion you usually hate neighbors over really small, unimportant crap that goes from being a slight annoyance into a deep-seated loathing. For one, she owns a dog. Why the hell someone with a dog would move onto the second floor of an apartment is beyond me. It's small and it yaps all the time. She often leaves it on the balcony where it has free reign to go ape shit each time I come and go on my motorbike. Furthermore, we have a large parking lot out the back and she is incapable of parking correctly always on diagonals, which can often lead us to park on the street because she's taken up the last two spots. To the point that concerns me, over the last week, specifically between the hours of 3 a.m. and 5 a.m., I hear banging from upstairs. Often when I live in apartments and get banging from upstairs, I will just pound on the wall so that they can hear me and hopefully get the message that I don't appreciate the sound. I figured it just boiled down to her being quirky and weird. So the other night the banging starts again. I get over it quickly and decide to go into the backyard for a smoke. All the bottom floor apartments get a backyard instead of a balcony, which is fine with me because it means more floor space. When I went outside, I noticed something that caught me off guard. The lights in the apartment two floors up were on but the light from the apartment above me was not. I kept hearing the banging and came to the conclusion that it was not the neighbor I despised so much but the elderly gentleman living above her. Just to confirm my suspicions, every night that I hear the banging, I will go outside, and as always, the lights are on two floors up, but completely dark on the second floor. I mentioned this to my American friends over PSN, and they told me I should call the police, which I would if there were sounds of a struggle or yelling, but apartment from a very heavy thump, 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 there's nothing of concern. However, those thumps are loud, loud enough to echo through my apartment, all the way down on the bottom floor. The other strange thing is that I would expect the dog between our apartments to bark or something. However, that apartment is completely quiet. Come to think of it, I haven't seen the lady, her dog, or her car in quite a while. However, I'm not the one to read too much into these things and believe them to be completely unrelated. This morning was different though. I heard the loud thump, thump, thump and went outside. My topmost neighbor had lights on again, but something was different. The leftmost window was illuminated by a normal light, which was usual for the circumstance. However, given we have the same apartment layout, their bathroom window was emitting a flashing red light, and their spare bedroom was emitting a flashing normal light. Both lights were flashing at completely different intervals and didn't follow a pattern. It was completely random, I pulled out my phone because I wanted to record this strange occurrence. However, when I looked up towards the windows, I saw a figure for a brief moment in the spare bedroom. It shifted away from the window, and then all the lights were switched off. Completely dark. I wanted to see if anyone has had similar experiences or can give me some advice. 
I'll try to keep this updated as I go. Another reason I wanted to post this was because I felt a bit unsettled by the whole experience. I know that my girlfriend has my Reddit handle, so in the event that something escalates, I want something written down. Just a healthy paranoia, I think. I'll try to get it on film and upload it if I see it again, or at least get the thumps and the lights on outside. Thanks in advance for any advice you can provide. Edit. It's 11 p.m. now, the following evening, so I have my phone on charge and ready for anything random that may occur.